This video will discuss two methods of making surface tension measurements. First, a manual method, the Kruss K6 Denoy ring. The key parts of the Denoy ring are the level adjustment dials, the spirit level, the force dial and its associated scale, the stage, and its adjustment dial. Taking a closer look at the mechanism itself, we see the arm under tension and the ring. The Denoy ring works by pulling up a ring of fluid from the liquid surface and measuring the force required to break it away. To begin making a measurement, we first move the level adjustment dials until the spirit bubble is centered. We then take the sample and place it on the stage. The stage is adjusted using this dial at the back. We raise it until the ring makes contact with the sample. During the measurement, we try to keep this part of the arm within these marks to ensure proper measurement. We begin increasing the tension pulling upwards on the arm while moving the stage as necessary to keep the arm in the correct position. When the ring breaks free from the surface, we can read off the result from the scale. In this case, the result is approximately 72 millinewtons per meter. With the measurement complete, we lower the stage and remove the sample. The ring can also be removed and cleaned to prevent influencing future measurements. The second method of measurement is automated using the BP50 bubble pressure tensiometer. The unit itself has buttons for purging the air supply and calibrating. Below this, these probes together act as a capillary, pressure sensor and temperature sensor. The sample is placed on the stage and raised into position. The software can then be used to begin making measurements. We select a new bubble pressure measurement and can then set the range of the experiment in terms of the surface age of the bubbles. As the experiment runs, bubbles are formed with the relevant surface age and the hardware and software together calculate a value of surface tension for the fluid. One or several measurements can then be plotted together for comparison. With the measurement complete, we lower the stage and remove the sample before cleaning the probes.